In this video, we're going to look at integration by U substitution. This is a longer method uh, of reversing the chain rule. And as you get more comfortable with integration, you may feel that you don't need to follow all these steps. But I'm going to go through the full method in this video. So integrating by U substitution. So to integrate by U substitution, we take the bracket and we change it to a u. So we're going to say that u is equal to 2x plus 3 in this case. So that will give us the integral of sine u. We can't integrate a u with respect to x, so we change it to dx du times du. Think of it as dividing by du and timesing by du. So we're going to integrate sine u times dx du with respect to u. So what is dx du or du dx? It's going to be this differentiated, which is 2. And dx du will be 2 flipped over the reciprocal of 2, which is half. So that means we're integrating sine u times half or half sine u with respect to u. We can ignore the half, we can take it outside and just say half times the integral of sine u with respect to u. So what is sine u integrated? So sine and cos. When we integrate we go anti-clockwise, so sine u integrates to negative cos u. So that would be half times negative cos u plus c. And we can write negative half cos u plus c. And we can change back uh, our u to 2x plus 3. So that would be negative a half times cos 2x plus 3 plus c and that's our answer okay here's another question so we're going to take the bracket and we're going to change it to u so we're going to say u this time is 7 plus 2x so we're going to integrate 12u to the power of 5 times dx du with respect to u. So du dx is 2. So dx du is 2 flipped over, which is a half. So that gives us the integral of, so 12 times a half will change to 6. So 6u to the power of 5 with respect to u. So add 1 to the power, u to the power of 6, divide by the new power, so we've just got u to the power of 6, plus c. And we can change u back to 7 plus 2x. So we've got 7 plus 2x to the power of 6 plus c. Okay, here I've got a set of questions. If you'd like to pause the video and give them a go, you can. Otherwise, keep watching. I'll go through these ones. And I've got another set of questions that you can do by yourself. So here I've got the integral of 4x plus 1 cubed with respect to x. So we're going to say the bracket is u. So u equals 4x plus 1. So that gives us the integral of u cubed with respect to x. So we'll change it to dx du times du. So what is dx du? Well, du dx is going to be 4. So dx du will be 1 quarter. So that gives us the integral of a quarter u cubed with respect to u. If I move over here so that so we can integrate it now 
So add 1 to the power, u to the power of 4, divide by the new power, so a quarter divided by 4 is a sixteenth. So we've got a sixteenth u to the power of 4 plus c, and we can change u back to 4x plus 1. So we've got a sixteenth times 4x plus 1 to the power of 4 plus c. That's our answer. So the second one, our bracket is 3x. So we'll say u equals 3x. So that gives us 6 sec squared u times dx du with respect to u. So du dx is 3 this time. So dx du is 1 third. So we've got the integral 6 times a third. It's just 2. So we've got the integral of 2 sec squared u with respect to u. So if we integrate sec squared u, that gives us tan u. So we've got 2 tan u plus c. And if we change our u back to 3x, we've got 2 tan 3x plus c. And finally, the last one. So our bracket is going to be our u. So u is 2x plus 3. So that gives us the integral of 2 over u cubed times dx du with respect to u. So du dx is 2. So dx du must be 1 half. So that gives us the integral of 1 over u cubed. 2 times a half is 1. So we've just got 1 over u cubed with respect to u. So u cubed, let's change that to u to the power of negative 3. So we add 1 to the power, so negative 2, divide by the new power. So 1 over negative half times u to the power of minus 2 plus c, and we'll change our u back to 2x plus 3. And another set of questions. So pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready to go through the answers. Okay, so for the first one, we're going to say u is 1 plus 5x. So we're going to have the integral of 15 u squared times dx du with respect to u. The u dx is 5, so dx du is flipped over 1 fifth. 15 times a fifth is 3, so that gives us the integral of 3 u squared with respect to u. 3u squared integrated, so add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, it's just u cubed. So we've got u cubed plus c, we we'll change our u back, 1 plus 5x cubed plus c. Question 2, we're going to say u is 2x, and that gives us the integral of 4 cos u, times dx du with respect to u. The u dx is 2, so dx du must be a half. And 4 halves is 2, so we've got 2 cos u with respect to u. So cos integrated is sine, so that gives us 2 sine u plus c. And changing the u back to 2x, so 2 sine 2x plus c. And finally, so we've got u as 4x minus 1, which will give us the integral of 16 over u squared 
times dx du with respect to u. And du dx is 4, so dx du is 1 quarter. So that gives us, so 16 times a quarter is 4. So we've got 4 over u squared with respect to u. We can change that to 4u negative 2 with respect to u. So add 1 to the power, which is negative 1, divide by the new power. So we've got negative 4u to the power of negative 1 plus c. Substituting back in now u. So negative 4 times 4x minus 1 to the power of minus 1 plus c.